Welcome back everyone. We are into the second half of our Friday night football showdown and still have much, much more to go. Yeah, Ocean Springs with another tough test in week three, Blake, as they welcome in Northwest Rankin OS, beat Northwest Rankin last season. These two have gone back and forth in the postseason for the last few years as well. The Greyhounds trying to do it once again as they look for their first win of the year. The Cougars with the ball in the first quarter. Maddox May calls up. Oh man, that's jumped on by Ricky Orso. He gets the loose ball to set the Greyhounds up in plus territory. Sherrod White head in at quarterback. He rolls out. That connects with Bryson Smith for the tutty. OS takes a 7-0 lead, and lucky for these guys, those will be the only points for the first half. Brian Osberg sacks Gavin Phillips in a boring first half, turned into a wild second half. This game went into overtime, and Northwest Rankin walks it off with a game-winning two-point conversion to send Ocean Springs to 0-3. So we've already dealt with one hurricane this week, <laughs> but it's time to get tropical once yeah, again. Yeah, West Harrison coming home to the tropics for the first time this year. And there's only one person who can bring us those highlights, our own hurricane hunter of the digital desk. That is Mr. Dylan Jones. Dylan. Yeah, thanks, Blake. West Harrison looking to move to 2-1 and one on the year as they defend the home turf as they welcome the winless East Marion Eagles. Hurricane coming off the big win last week over Sumrall. Canes moving through like Francine. Already up 7 to nothing. Trey Harris gets the handoff and the corner, and he is in for six after that. They would go up 13 to nothing. The Canes keep rolling. Jordan Stapleton goes right up the gut for another touchdown. That puts West Harrison up by 19. Eagles trying to get a little something going through the air here. Caden Belton swings one out to Navarius Coleman for a nice gain. However, this one was all Canes all the time. West Harrison wins big at home, 48-12. Big win for Coach Q and the West Harrison Hurricanes there in the tropics. Now it's time to take a trip up North Dillon. Thank you so much, as always, to the Jackson area. Admirals taking on Madison Central. Gulfport hoping to move to 3-0 this week, and they're on the move early. Dane Sullivan finds Chris John Burke's nice ball in the corner of the end zone. That puts seven on the board for Gulfport. Madison Central, though, quarterback Jaden Johnson throwing it to Micah Jones. They said, you can do it, we can do it, too. Scores a touchdown. MC evens things up on that. Gulfport once again with the ball. Dane Sullivan trying to run it, but puts the ball on the ground, recovered by Madison Central, and they are in business after that. Jaden Johnson once again going to hand it off this time, keep it on the ground to Glenn Singleton, who would punch it up the gut for a touchdown. The Jaguars would take the lead on that, and they would never really look back. Admirals keep it close down the stretch, but Madison Central going to take this one 31-21. And that will bring us into our final break here on the third edition of the Friday Night Football Showdown. But don't go anywhere just yet. Yeah, we're going to take you to scores from around the coast, plus our play of the night that you're not going to want to miss. 